these Six Sigma.org roadmaps are a very, very important uh, tool in the methodology. I encourage uh, belts to get to know this particular uh, module extremely well. You will refer to it uh, often uh, and it will be your guide, especially in the early days of your career in process improvement, it will be your guide every step of the way. So let's have a look now at the, uh, at the various roadmaps. Uh, the objectives of the module, so you want to understand um, the five phases of the MAIC uh, methodology and also the five phases of the MADVI uh, methodology. And notice that here on the roadmaps you've got define, measure, analyze, and prove and control the MAIC, right? And so we use that particular uh, path of improvement for reducing variation and, uh, and race, waste reduction and elimination. The other uh, roadmap that you'll see here is define, measure, analyze, design, and validate and that's the, uh, the next methodology for designing or redesigning products or uh, processes. And a brief description of each of those five phases is uh, summarized here below. So the first one we'll look at is DMAIC and LEAN. Uh, I'm combining uh, the two here. Remember there are three circles of competence in the uh, Six Sigma methodology, DMAIC, LEAN, and DMADV. The LEAN methodology though uses the DMAIC framework. So across the top here we have define, measure, analyze, improve, and control. And then under each of these, these are called phases, so it's a five-phase methodology. And under each phase we have three high-level activities that we need to accomplish before we move on, say, from the define phase onto the measure phase. So for example, in the define phase we want to complete a project charter. We want to make sure that the uh, project uh, is aligned with other goals of the organization or personal goals or departmental goals, whatever it happens to be. And then the last thing we want to do is we want to define the process. Over in the measure phase, we want to validate the big why uh, the, via an MSA, a measurement system analysis. Then we want to baseline the capability of the process and we want to uh, identify uh, any variation. In the analysis phase or the analyze phase, we want to do some graphical analysis, creating pictures. We want to uh, understand the extent of the problem uh, via some statistical analysis. And then, of course, we want to lean out the process itself. In the improve phase, identifying solutions, validating those solutions, and implementing the improvements. And then finally, uh, in the control phase, we want to put together a control strategy, implement those controls, and then determine final capability. Now, looking at uh, the define phase, uh, these are the three level, three high level activities in the define phase. And the way we break uh, this next set of slides out is, in this portion of the slide, we have the process. So, in the define phase, we've got three steps. So that's our process, and then we've got the tools. That uh, these are the tools. So these are the tools that you might expect to use in creating a project charter. Then you've got the next set of tools which you might expect to use in aligning the project uh, with goals of the organization. And then finally you've got uh, the tools associated with defining the process. And then finally you've got the deliverable. So what is it I'm trying to get as a deliverable from the project charter? Well, it's a project charter, completed charter, or project contract is sometimes known as. Uh, in the next step, aligning the project with the goals, we want to make sure we've got customer critical to satisfaction or organizational critical to quality or baseline financials. And then in, in defining the process, we want a, a process map, maybe a SIPOC and some preliminary process data. Now in the measure phase, we've got three steps as well. So even though I've listed them here, notice that they apply to the measure phase because it's highlighted up at the top. So under the measure phase, we've got validating the big why and the tools we use and the measurables for them as well. So we want to validate uh, the big why via an MSA, measurement system analysis. And then so once I know what the problem is, that's in the define phase, I want to know how big it is. And that's in the uh, measure phase. So I want to make sure that I can measure it appropriately. Then I want to make sure that I can baseline the capability of the process and then kind of identify any variation that exists. And again, uh, the tools you would expect to use and then the deliverables. Now, I didn't mention in the define phase, but I will mention it here. You won't use all of these tools in every project. But, so this is, uh, it's not a prescription. 
it, this is not prescriptive, uh, but it certainly is most of the tools you would expect to use in this particular phase. Now also, I don't repeat these tools, and so it's very likely that we're going to use these tools in other, in other parts of the phase as well. And I don't list those in those other, uh, in the other parts of the methodology. I only list them here. Moving on to the analy uh, analyze phase. So you notice we're still in the MAIC, D, M, A, I, and C. In the analyze phase, we have three steps. We're going to construct a graphical analysis, maybe do a statistical analysis, and then lean out the process flow. Here are the tools and here are the deliverables for the analyze phase. But basically what we're trying to do is, is um, uh, in the graphical analysis, let's get a picture of what's going on in the process and with the problem. The statistical analysis is a way of validating um, the, the either the extent of the problem or or the um, the, the the extent of the, um, uh, the the or the insight that the data gives us via the uh, some statistical analysis and then in the lean process flow we are looking at lean principles as it applies to uh, the problem at hand now most uh, problems that I've come across are not strictly demaic they they aren't strictly lean and they aren't strictly demadvi and it's one of the reasons why we integrate uh, all three methodologies uh, in the Six Sigma.org program and that's because y you will see, uh, I think in almost every case, you will see components of variation and components of lean and components of uh, of DMADV that are needed to be, uh, you know, the tools in those methodologies brought to bear on a given problem. In the improve phase, now in the improve phase we also have three steps identifying the solution, validating it, and then implementing the improvements or in implementing the solution. And again, you've got the tools that we would use in the deliverables. And then finally, in the control phase, control, uh, providing a control strategy, implementing the controls, and then determining the uh, final process capability. On the DMADV side of the uh, roadmaps, uh, I didn't mention in uh, when I when we looked at this the, the comparable uh, slide for Demaic, but you'll notice this funnel that's sitting in behind here, and what it's what it is indicating is at this part of the problem. In this case, it's Demadvi, but the same applies for Lean and Demaic. At this part of the in this part of the methodology, there are many potential uh, sources or causes or thought to be causes of the problem. And as we move through the methodology, we screen those down and eliminate and, and, and rationalize those off of our list so that we only have a select few things that we are using to control the process. So that, that is the idea of the funnel in the background. In the demand view roadmap, we've, we define, measure, analyze, design, and then validate. So we can look at those. In the define phase, we have a project charter as well, gathering voice of customer and determining CTS are critical to satisfaction. This is critical to the customer satisfaction. Could be an internal customer, could be an external customer. And again, the tools we would use in each of these uh, sort of phases or steps, and then the deliverables. In the measure phase, we want to determine what the functional requirements are, generate design concepts, and then evaluate those concepts. In the analyze phase, we want to provide some design requirements. Now you'll notice here we're using QFD and, and, and a series of QFD uh, houses. In this particular case, it's QFD host 3. So uh, uh, coming up with design requirements, then uh, determining what the interface management looks like, and then design for manufacturability or serviceability could also be here. In the design phase, we want to uh, design the process variables that will be used for the new, the new design. Remember, this is a new design uh, methodology. We want to provide the detailed design, and then we want to make sure that we can um, demonstrate or verify Six Sigma capability. And then in the validate stage, we want to pilot a prototype, document it, and then implement it. So that's it uh, very briefly for the uh, roadmap. Again, it is going to be your guide throughout the entire program, and I would encourage you to get to know the roadmap very, very well, because when you have doubt uh, about what to do next, you go here. And, uh, and it will show you uh, very likely what the next steps are. So this is the Six Sigma.org roadmaps module. Uh, thanks for watching and good luck in your projects.